<laughs> Hello, nobody. You're right, yeah. It's big cheese on the bike. Yeah, I am standing up straight away, yeah. I was already standing up before I pushed record, all right? I fucking love it. I went for a little thrash yesterday, and I was um, standing up then, going around at about 11 o'clock last night. I was enjoying myself. Third gear. I think that's third gear anyway. Up again. <laughs> I don't know why I said again. I've always been standing up. I've always been standing up. I just sat down because it was getting a bit messy there. I like to force the cars over. If they are, um, you know, if it's my road, this is my road. So I like to uh, take as much of it as I want. This side. You know, cars seem to think that they can take more because I'm a motorbike, and I don't like that. It's like they force me into where they want me to be, when I like to force them to where they should be. <laughs> Have we got a motorbiker? Still stood up, man. Look at me taking the apex here. I'm a proper mental cunt, man. I'm sitting down. It's my birthday today, guys. I'm 40 today. I'm fucking full of wisdom, trust me. Been there, done it, got the motherfucking t shirt. <laughs> and I'll say that lightly. I'm only 40, yeah? I'm not claiming to be the fucking wise guy. But yeah, you know, I've been there, done it, got a t shirt. I've done a few things now. Anyway, I'm out on the bike. I went out for a thrash yesterday. No vlog, just went out. And it's fucking nuggets. I'm out again today recording the motherfucker. And, um... Yeah, what I was going to say, I want to have a little moan about my son, you know. I'm sitting in the house playing computer games and that. On one hand, I feel sorry for him because he's getting, like, upset by people be beating him on the computer games. Because I think he is a good gamer. When I watch him game, I think he's shit up, man. But I do tell him there's going to be lots of people out there that are just better than you. People out there that have got nothing better to do than to play games. And, um, yeah, it does, it, it makes, it saddens me a little bit when I can just hear it in his voice. His body language is clear and the, 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 the irritants in his voice and like, you know, he's genuinely a little bit cut up by the fact he just wants to have a good game. He just wants, I was going to stand up then, I'm going to concentrate on talking. He just wanted to have a good game, whether it's on his own or with his mates. And these fucking freaks of nature just keep coming on and being better than him. And he's a fairly good player, so it's a shame, really. Um, I might get past this beamer, it's going a little bit too slow. It's right down like 10 mile an hour there. Um, Yeah, it does. It, 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 it makes me sad, man. I feel like just giving up and giving the boy a squeeze. But, you know, that being said, he... Um, you know, he's very quick to, like, be quite arrogant when he's winning and stuff. You know, he's... I think it's like a... It's definitely a gamer thing. And it's definitely a child thing in the sense of how quickly he can be like a little bit mean himself. I have to constantly remind him to calm down, you know, don't get carried away, don't take it too serious, and don't 
been start insulting people, being a better person, control yourself, it's just a game and always remember that there's going to be some geeks out there that they just got nothing better to do than play computer games 24-7 Yeah, uh, you know, I get pleasure out of seeing him play it well, because he is a bit of a beast himself, but yeah Wrong gear. Wrong motherfucking gear. <sighs> yeah, so it is a bit of a... It's a sad thing seeing him getting upset and that. Because, you know, he just wants to sit and play it. And he's so... Some, I know the feeling. I'm not a gamer. When I play games, if you take it serious and try and get into it, it's, it's hard work. You know, to me, this is only speaking for myself, I've got friends, Stuart Duncan, that he was a bit of a badass on computer games, and it was cool to watch. But when I play games, it's a right effort, you know. Oh, crossing the road. Yeah, I find computer games dead stressful, and that's why I don't play them. I just think like it's too, it's too much like energy getting drawn out of my body to try and concentrate, or the stress. I find my body gets stressed trying to be good at computer games, so I don't. Uh, well, I, I can relate to how my son might feel, and he's like even more into it. He's a proper game. I see my son as a proper gamer, really. Nose is irritating again, itching. Some fucking... Them fucking granddad hairs coming in. Now I'm 40. Fucking eyebrow hairs the size of my fingers. Nose hairs that itch my chin. Do you know what I mean? Constantly itching my nasal path and chasing the blues. Same old shit, you know, down the bean field, yeah, on the farmstead road, with a barrack. Let's get on the Peggy Deggs again. Stand up for this shit, I just love standing, it's a bit busy to be standing up though, ain't it? It's a bit fucking busy for standing up, man, alright? Taunton Avenue and that, yeah. Fucking visors steaming up. <laughs> sit down, sit down. My fucking visors steaming up. Look at that little kid trying to get me to do wheelies. I can't do wheelies, boys, alright? I can't fucking do wheelies, mate, eh? Slow coach, howdy, man. No indication there from me, so what, right? Standing up, that's how you fucking do it, man. They staying enclosed. Podium, num, 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 Eastbourne. Yeah, that's me standing up, bouncing on a motherfucker. Oh, so I watched the Formula One qualifying. I'm so excited about it. I got that bloody anti-climax feeling again, you know. When, like, last year when Mercedes come in, you know, I was raring to go. Thinking, yep, yeah, Max Verstappen got that fake win in 2001, 21. So 2022, we're going to show them how it's done and that. And I was fucking wrong. 
and I'm back behind the Audi again, I'm fucking wrong, and uh, our Mercedes just had a shit car all last year, and now this year, they, they've done testing, which I thought wasn't looking too good, and then in Q1 and Q2 of the Bahrain Grand Prix today, they were looking real good, and I didn't even see Q3, but they've done shite anyway. Done fucking shite, mate. I always stick to the limit, so trust me, I'm safe. Ah, oh, motherfuckers, I'm one of them safe riders. Stays within my boundaries of the law. Oh, big hole, fucking hell, more big hole, shit in hell. I couldn't go, that was in like a, because I'm sticking to the limits. And there was a load of holes all in a row there, and because I was sticking with, within the law, I uh, just couldn't swerve out the way of it. They were just all in the perfect line. I just rode through them on my adventure boat, like, yeah, fucking shall does your power under me. I'm going to the fucking Dane's home. I never go to Dane's home. I'll tell you what I want to do, I'm, I'm desperate to do the back brake pads on this thing. I got an advisory on them fucking six months ago, and um, they feel shite really. I've ju I did check my discs today and it doesn't feel like it's grinding into the disc yet, but you know, I don't need, I just, I need to get them changed. Once it starts going into the disc, you know, it's going to cost me three times as much. <laughs> Perdone. It is fucking freezing, you know, though. It's gone back to cold again. I'm not saying it looks that nice anyway, to be honest, but... You know, the point is, it doesn't look... Even with no wind in that, you're walking on foot, there's no wind. Seems like quite a calm day. You get out on the motorbike and it's fucking windy as fuck and, like... My fingertips are freezing. I didn't expect it to be warm now, but I had it last night. I walked to the dog and I thought, yeah, it feels like a good night, you know. Very calm night. A nice night to go out on the bike. And I went out and once you go above 30, you know, it's fucking freezing breeze. Very dull day though, I was meant to say that. Very dull day, like you can't see the sky, it's pure clouds. Not, I know I'm going to turn left somewhere, I don't know where it is though, it's not this one, the next one, but I don't know how far it is, how far down. So yeah, it is my 40th birthday today, I am a granddad these days, um, I am having a birthday vlog, and uh, yeah, Sean does your bow mate. Copenhagen Road, yeah, fucking wicked. I love that, you know, just ride that clutch a little bit aggressively than normal, and it gives it that a nice little sound, man. I think I get boners when I do it, so all well and good. see a video the other day right it was uh, a push bike an electric e-bike on fire 
and admittedly it might be few and far between but the truth is them e-bikes do set on fire you know like I say it might be a very small margin that does it but yeah they still do they are still a bit mad in the sense that they do go on fire and like they look like quite aggressive fires and they can even explode I've seen I've seen e uh, batteries e batteries exploding and shit they look quite rough man right I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go this way up the green hill rise head homeways or something more big holes look the roads are fucked man Yeah, that's it. I don't think I've got much else to say. I wanted to get a ride. I wanted to ride on my 40th. That wasn't the plan, but earlier on I thought, yeah, yeah, let's get out on the bike. It's my 40th birthday. Let's have a shot. Let's get past this guy. Maybe not. Yeah, get the bike put away. I'm gonna go see my friend tonight, and we are, I don't know. He suggested me, I was drinking, but he's not a drinker. And you know, I don't like drinking on my own. To be honest, I'm not even that bothered about drinking anyway, but, you know, I, he, I don't think he's going to drink. So it's like, oh, a bit shit, really. Um, But what I will do, I think I'll get a taxi to his house anyway. That's 25 quid. Do you know what I mean? Taxi home there and back. Like a 25 quid lot. Green Hill Rise, Dan York Road. East Road. Uh, what else did it do that cost me loads of money? Right, so it's my birthday today, right? I was in work yesterday. Okay, I'm going this way through the town. And so, I think it was one of the receptionists um, hinted or suggested cakes. And so I did. I went and bought cakes for him work and that cost me forty pound boys, yeah? Forty nine for, like something like thirty nine pound fifty. I thought, you what man, that's the first time I'd ever done that it's shiz. And I ain't doing it again. Uh yeah, whatever I've done it. Fucking 30, 40 quid man, what a fucking absolute pish take man. Hey, hey, hey. Straight up to 30, 40, this is a 40 in it, so I'll go straight up to 40. That's how I do it. Yeah, it's fucking nuggets, man. My body is not cold. My legs, not cold. My knees are a bit cold. My fingertips are freezing, and my feet are a bit cold. Fingertips, nuggy truck, dug nug the flugs. You know what I mean? Can you say that after me? Fingertips, nuggy truck, nug dug lug the fugs. Yeah, try it next time. Yeah, try it, try it, try it. Look at that big white dog. Hey, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hang out the window, dude. Is he on the white day? He's on the white day. <sighs> Stand up, me trousers fucking fought, gone up me leg. It's getting dark actually. I'm starting to like not be able to see out of the visor. 
It's a fucking bacon sandwich as we speak, mate. Right, where next? I might go straight down up Studful. That's what we'll do. Straight down up Studful, past decades, and I see if any of the youngers are waiting outside decades for it to open at 10 o'clock. get past this slow coach motherfucking Audi lot or because he's slow yeah I could always give him the look watch it I can just light up the fucking rear view mirror with my fucking then was that <laughs> he sped up as well come on that's the bad thing about this bike man like the fucking the 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 position of the light is like dead high and um, if I drive too close to people it just fucking light uh, watch that car in front you can't notice it so much but at night time it will just shine up the whole inside of the car and um, it's not good I always feel uncomfortable like your, your light is out of a line, dude. It should not be that high. Yeah, stuff like that. I need to go through there sometime. You know what I mean? I wonder if I... Am I allowed to go through there? Would I be get done for, like, dangerous driving or something? You know, even if I was just doing this slow coach motherfucking bitch ass. Stud for... <laughs> This taxi looked like he was getting a bit aggressive there with that pull out. I can't even fucking stand up, man. I was out last night, yeah, the roads were empty, yeah, and I was out last night and I was just cruising at about third gear quite fast, sticking at the speed limit 30 lot. And, um,. And it was great fun, but now in third gear, I'm fucking sticking at the limits, and it's it's not very good at all. Just pure chugging. Let me just have a look behind me. I, I was standing up, and I was a bit nervous. So there's a car behind, and I didn't know who it was. Could have been the fucking sandwich when it is the bacon ones. Your jacket is long, mate. That's a long jacket. I was looking at trailers, right? And uh, on eBay, and that house over there is like that come up with like loads of all different shape of the sizes trailers. I thought, well, that's mental. Imagine I fucking bought a trailer loco from the stud though. <laughs> I don't need a trailer. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I fucking bought a strimmer, didn't I? I bought a strimmer. 500 smack of Roonies. Uh, I did buy it second hand, brand new, they're like 800 quid, so I thought, I didn't rush into it, you know, I bought one, I looked at it for a bit, I thought, yep, yeah, that one looks shit, yep, yeah, that one looks shit, yep, yeah, this one looks good, I'll have it, right, and uh, in the text it's saying, please study the photos properly before you purchase it, which I had a good look, and I thought, yep, yeah, that looks fairly good condition to me. And when I got the strimmer, as soon as I opened up, there was there was scuffs and marks on it that put me off of it. And then as I got further around, it was cracked. The body of something was cracked. And I think I'm pretty confident it probably still would have worked good. But you know, I'm just not that person that likes to buy shit with like worn out condition like that. I like to have good shit. So I got a f I sent it back and got a refund, a full refund, but it was like 45 quid delivery and I lost that. So I lost 45 quid on that straight away. Still, I'm glad to get it back really. I want to get past this car. I just hate sitting behind cars, man. With the bike, even if I am sticking to the limits, you just go through the speed bumps. No messing. Like, with cars are slowing down at the speed bumps, they're absolute mm, faggots, aren't they? They're just doing 20 in that in the 30. I mean, mate, I do fucking 20 in the 20s, don't I? I do 30 in the 30s, I'm mental them ways. 
Look at these, oh no, this is a 20 road actually. I'm sure this is a 20 road. Yeah, well, <laughs> 30's good on this road, I'm telling you now boys, yeah, 30's good on the 20s. Let's Dun, dun, dun. That's it though, vlog's over. Heading home. Mm. It's fucking pure shite, 30 mile an hour and shit, man. Come on, my bike don't like it this speed. Put it in first gear, it's just pure chuggy. Put it in second gear, it's like, well, first gear, it's just like high revs and motherfucker. Second gear, it's chugging at 13 mile an hour. It needs a bit of poke in it, man. I'm gonna have to clutch it because of slow coach motherfuckers. And I'm riding the clutch to get a smooth ride out of it. That's me in second gear, second uh, 20 mile an hour, but it's like right on the limit. If I give it any power, it's chugging because it's just there. I'm just really just coasting it. Oh, yeah, 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 come on. I was too busy concentrating on this guy in the white, not indicating. I didn't fucking see the key a lot here. That's two key now, ain't it? Is that two key? Oh, look at this pink taxi. That's been floating about. My mate got it to work the other day. I keep buffing. I seen it last night. Um, yeah, pink taxi night. Yeah, Sal one does a pound. Yeah, that's it. Vlog's over. Man's forty today. Full of wisdom and shit now, boys. Yeah, trust. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that shit. Hope you have a good time, weekend, whatever. Still following all your New Year's resolutions. I'm trying to do it. You know, I've been on and off it myself, but I am still trying and doing it. Yeah? Oh, now I'm at this fucking junction. I'm going to have to keep talking a bit now. I can't stop it fucking roundabout ways. I've got the clutch in. I'm on the accelerator. I'm on the back brake. I'll see you later. It's nicely does it. See you later. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Adio.